Yo guys, how's it going? Welcome back to the channel, and I think this is episode 17? I think it's 17. But it's the start of the second season, so let's jump into this, because I've got a lot to go through really. So let's see what's happened. Right, we're going to start off with transfers, because there's been a plenty. <laughs> so, as you can see, we've done quite a bit of business. Probably we'll start with the outs, and we can go through the ins in just a moment. Um, a few players left on Freeze, Gazelle, Lucas Machia. On Mokio, Grange, um, Yalet left for a million to um, where did he go? Rapid Vine. Big one going out was Lacazette for 29 million up front. It's basically got his value up front, plus it's going to go up to 51 when he hits all the clauses, which I can't remember all of them. It was he was kicking on the first one. I rejected a bid from who did I reject the bid from? Uh, PSG I rejected a bid from. They're only offering like half of that amount, like total. So it's like, yeah, no, not going for that. And he went, blah, 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 I want to leave. So next one that came in was Dortmund. They offered a 22 up front and up to about 35, but I pushed them up a bit. So not too bad, quite happy to get that money in. Um, a couple more went out on loan. Ribus left for 3.4 million, just wasn't going to fit into the team. Uh, he was a little bit older, he's like 30, he's 27, I thought it was a little bit older than that, but he left and a couple more went out alone. So starting with the ins, first one being Ezekiel Barco, who we signed very early on, we knew he was coming in, so he looks pretty decent to come in. Hordy Middle looks decent, definitely can come in soon. Can he be tutored? Tonelli, what's his formation? 15 and clue 15, Yanga 17, Yanga's going to tutor him. I want to improve his determination. Lovely. Sorted. Right. Then we started spending some money on other players. First one being Santiago Gigalotti. He's got to have um, Italian relations with that sort of name. Apparently not. But Argentinian. He's kept under 21 level already. Looks really good. Um, quick. Um, 510 not the biggest player in the world but he's got he's got ability for miles this guy with a look of him definitely can improve that areas like technically but his first touch is good free kick taking is good technique teamwork off the ball professional we can use either foot so quite looking forward to see how he fits into our team we then got and went I went and got Z Gomez I was going I know he turns into a good player and I want him I've never used him Honestly, I've never used him at any playthrough. I was like, right, we're going to get him in. He's a good quality player. Going to frame in the cam roll and see how he gets on. The next player was Samuel Nura. Right back. Training him as our fullback. But again, 19 American. Looks decent. Can get up to apparently four and a half star potential. Lovely job. And so I was like, right, he's coming in. See what he can do. He... I sort of pulled the trigger on him mainly because I saw teams like United, Liverpool, PSG, Real Madrid all looking at him. I was like, if they're all looking at him, chance are he's going to be a really good player. And for 5.75 million, I was worth willing to take the risk on him. Danilo, we knew was coming in anyway because we've already uh, agreed that already. Quite pleased with that. As you can see, Thomas Carius was always already agreed. Got him in cheap. He's gone straight out on loan, so that's lovely. Next one we got is Lucas off Atletico Madrid. Got him in on loan. We're only paying some of his wages. So, decent centre-back really. Again, left-footed. And going to be a good quality player, I reckon. Especially if he can perform anywhere near sort of level I'm hoping he can get to. And we'll just see what he can do. And the last one, where we spent 25.5 million up to 30, is Franca Kessi. Kessi? Kessi? I don't know how to pronounce it. Ball winner. Or box to box midfielder, depending which system we're going for. Quality player, really. Looks excellent. He's only 20. He's Ivorian. He's capped for his country. He looks like he's going to be a brilliant player. Solid. Definitely can make our midfield want to be reckoned with. So let's <laughs> see how our team will get on. We're still sticking with this sort of formation at the minute. I am quite tempted to go back to the four at the back system but I'm not entirely sure 
we are still probably going to move on a couple of players mainly being possibly one of, one of our defenders we've got so many now Tonelli, Yanga aren't even in the team Midal um, Morrill can go probably Nuru's our right wing back Morrill is actually playing back up to Lato at the minute in terms of what top we got Martel is bidding go on loan so I'll get him out of the team soon we've got Gomez and Giguel up top, Cornet, the pay, the key is out injured at the minute, which is disappointing. Seven days to two weeks. And Barker's in, Babuena's in. So we've got a really good mix of players now. So we're going to start off this season with the games against Besiktas in the Champions Cup um, third place or best place qualifier or something. What What is it? Um, Champions Cup best place qualifying Qualifier 3, leg 1. Where do we go after this? Playoff phase? Do we get... Do we have to go... If we win... I don't know. Let's just get into the game first. And we can work out how it goes on a little bit later. They're going with... Actually some players I know. They've got Tor, Tuscan, Babel, Allen, Abita, Hutchinson, Adriano, Franco, Marcelo... Good players there, and some I recognise, some I don't recognise, so we'll just sort of see how our new boys get along and fit into our team, and how the rest of our players see what we plan on extending, and we're going to go back to key, and see what we can do, hopefully the new lads can jump into the team quite well, and really show us what they can do, as Klesi just picked up an injury, twisted knee, dear lord. He's coming off. I'm not risking him. Danilo can come straight into the team then. So Kalesi get his debut and Danilo gets a debut six minutes in. Didn't really want a player going down injured that early on. I was a little bit gutted to lose Lacazette. But I've had bids for Fakir as well. So it's like, uh, I don't want to lose both of them. And Fakir is a lot more playmaker as well. So it's like, Lacazette's probably going to be the one where we least feel the impact. Clue, edge of the box, saved by Fabrico. And they're going to come ball. We've got quite a bit of ball, really, but we're not really showing a lot with it. As Babel goes into Talisco, into Osgan. I don't know who's going over. Danilo does make a tackle in the end. Danilo. Abuena. The Z Gomez. Lato. It's probably not that Z Gomez, it's probably Z Gomez or something. And it goes out to Gaspar. Can you find a good ball in? Aimed back post, it's cleared. Danilo's edge of the box. And looks for Valverde. Gonna lands, he scored. And that's our first goal of the second season. And it's Gonna lands with it. Not the one I expected to put the ball in the back of the net first. But lovely little work move there. And Danilo just picks a puck. Ball across the middle, looking ball by Bueno, gets tackled, and Gonland just picks up these scraps and just hits it at goal and goes in. Just what we need. And we're 1 0 up. We're at home, so that's actually quite good advantage for us. And we're just going to sort of hope they don't do anything drastic and come back into this. Gomez is. I wasn't sure which side to play him on. As Babbles nicked him behind Mamana. He shoots from distance and Lopez with an easy save. But I'm still looking for a goalkeeper to come in because I don't really have anyone just yet who I'm satisfied with as a backup to come in. So we'll sort of see a little bit later on into the window, sort of how we get on if we if we sign anyone. If we don't, because I quite like to get someone in, but you never know. I never know. Kalesi only was a last minute transfer because he got transfer listed. I wasn't planning on signing him. I wasn't go actively going to go and sign him until I saw that. When I know he can be a quality player and really improve our midfield, it's like once he was up, he's like, yes, I'm definitely looking at him. And Gomez has ball shoots. It's bounced off someone and it's gone in. He's claimed that as his first goal. <laughs> it's a goal in his debut and the fans love him already, apparently. Was deflected in, but. It's a goal. Lovely touch there. Hits it. I think it hits 
Latto actually, so it's probably a case he could claim that. But it's a goal with 2 0 up. Don't really need to click on Latto in a minute. As Enkelu's won it, Gonlan just hoofs it clear. But one into Memphis, into Gomez. Over the top looking for Memphis. Lovely little pass that. And Memphis, can he score? No, he puts it past the post. And we're actually drifting away as Gomez has it on the edge of the box. He gets tackled by Klenik. He's going to get chased back down, but it's going all the way back up to Senek. I said that name twice differently in the space of a minute. Not even a minute, really, in about the space of 20 seconds. Well, when has got it to Gomez. Does well to hold on. Danilo at Lato. Got some space to find the ball in if he can get down the line. But no, he's gone into Gomez. Into Valbuena. Shoot saved by Fabrico. And we could have had another goal there. And Valbuena's got the ball on the corner. Again, gives it out looking for Kalu. But it's Hutchinson with the header clear. Gaspar. Lose it. They're going to hit us. No, luckily. Whew. They've only had two shots. So quite pleased with how this is working out so far. And we're doing quite well. I'm probably going to make a sub in a minute. Don't quite know who to change. But I want to give Gigolotti a run. Let's bring him in on the right hand side. And just do that for the minute. Let's see what he does. We've still got Cornet we could bring on. We could bring on Barco. We've got Yanga and Nora if we need to switch it up on the defensive side of the game. So as your point, Gaspar's on a yellow, so I might take him off and bring on Nora on like the 75th minute maybe. Yeah, we'll do it now. Don't really want him sent off. So I may as well swap, swap it up nice and soon. And that's probably going to be all we're going to sort of look to do in this game. So if, if we hold on, pick a 2-0 win, I'll be quite pleased with that. Hopefully Kalesi's not going to be out for too long. And he'll be back pretty quick. Danilo is a quality player though. And he's going to be excellent for us I reckon. As we've got our free kick into Valbuena. Zigo moves back to Valbuena. It's clear that's going to be the last move of the game. And we win 2-0. Actually quite a good performance. Quite pleased with that. So. Lovely job. We're just going to. Just read through these quickly. Nothing there, nothing major there. Nope. Nothing there. So I'm going to jump to the second leg of this game. So I'll see you in just a minute, guys. Right, we're going to come back here quickly. i got a problem. <laughs> Our goalkeeper's picked up an injury again. <laughs> Six to eight weeks with, an in with a dislocated shoulder. So I'm going to have to really look for a um, goalkeeper now. Chris Smalling's on the loan, on the transfer list? Really? Okay. Rooney was on the transfer list at one point. I think he's down here somewhere. But I'm actually going to just adapt this a bit. Move these over. So everything seemed to have pushed all the way over, and it's sort of getting on my nerves now. All right, what was I going to do? Um, position. I was looking for a goalkeeper, wasn't I? Begovic. <laughs> Timo Horn. He's unhappy. Actually, a good goalkeeper. Let's scout him, see what we can get on him. And in terms of youngsters, I was sort of looking at who. Um, positional wise, Lafont is one I was sort of looking at as a young French goalkeeper we sort of could bring in. He's on loan. Kamara, I'm not really that interested in. Who wants him? Bayern Munich want this guy. So he's probably a good player just to scout and see what he's like. So we'll just scout those and see what they come back with. Timo Horn, no intention of joining us yet. He wants to move to a bigger club, really. Don't want to sell. Let's see. Um, let's actually make an inquiry and sort of see what comes up. And he doesn't want to even want to join, but... Let's actually just make an inquiry and see. We might be able to convince him. You never know. We're going to keep those the same. We're not changing any of that. And we're almost at the game. So I'll jump to the game. If anything else happens, I'll let you know. Right, guys. We're back for the second game now. We're more or less going to go the same team. Other than 
Gorgolin, Tonelli's come in, um, Barker's actually come in, so which way around's going to be better? Three and a half, that way better probably. Uh, we're just going to go with that and sort of see how we get on. Hopefully we can have a decent game here. It's the reverse leg of the Europa, Europa Champions League qualifying round or whatever it was called, I don't really know. But we're just going to jump straight into this, see how we get on and really try and um, cause some problems. Cornette's got the ball, Barco. Gonlands, Valbuena, at two, Gonlands into Gaspar, we find a good ball in, it's dropped to Valbuena, oh, it's cleared, that could have been a good start, as Gillespie's not actually picked up an injury, he twisted his knee but he was fine for this game, so it's like, sound, lovely job, definitely can help us there then, I'm probably going to increase the size of the camera at some point, because I realise it's quite tiny in the corner, as with, they're coming forward, Babel back post saved. It's still gone in though. God damn, that's not what we need. It's apparently an own goal. That is really not what we needed. Hmm. Just plays it back to back. He just hits it. Babel saved, but he just does something stupid and doesn't get it there. Ay, 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 ay. That's not what we needed. If we can get a goal, that will really help us out as well. bueno has got the free kick. He puts it straight in the top corner. <laughs> 30 yards out. What a free kick that was. And I think that gives us an away goal lead. I've, we definitely got the lead. I know that. But does the away goals count in this part of the group stage? Or well, not the group stage. The whatever this is. <laughs> I have no idea if they count or not. If it does... That's even better for us. I just cracked all my knuckles up bloody hurt. Kelsey, Barco, where's he going? Back to Gonlands, Babuana. Into Gaspar, can he find the ball in the middle? Into Barco, he scored on his debut as well. And what a move that was. It's another debut goal for a player. And lovely move by Gaspar. Just to get a little bit of space. Dink it in the middle, Barco in the... In there, completely unmarked, and just headers home. And we're 2 0 up. 2 0, 2 1 up, sorry. Where did I get the nil from? I don't know. <laughs> I really don't understand my logic. Tom. I look at it, I read it, and I still say it wrong. It doesn't seem to make a difference what I do on that matter. Hmm. Cornette's not having the best of games at the minute. And there's half time. So I'll just tell my Arab at the minute. That's a good start. And keep this up into the second half. That'd be lovely. Into Klesi. Where's he going? I'm really tempted to switch to the other tactic. Just because we've got some really quality midfielders. In like Klesi. We've got um, Danilo. We've got Gomez who can play up top. Fakir who can play up top. Or Fakir who can play the main striker role with. Um, um, Gomez as his backup. We've got well, Fakir to play on the left wing with Gomez and the Argentinian player for um, strikers. Cornette's just gone and scored, and they hit them on a counter. Lovely little move that was. Over the top of the defence, takes it down on the chest. First thing forward, just it's a cross goal. Keep gets an arm to it, but doesn't push it clear. And we're three one up. Actually doing really well, right? Let's make some changes because I want to bring some other players on. Uh, Cornet can give have a rest. Nuru can come on for Gaspar because I want to get him training that position and learning it well. And middle can come on for Lucas. I want to give him a game as well, so we'll see how he gets on. Hopefully he gets on quite well. As they're coming forward, Salvador, gone lands with the challenge. To Valbuena. Back to Tonelli. Don't quite know why he played the long ball up there, but they're coming forward. We win it in, with Klesi into mid out gone back to Gorgolin. Valbuena goes for it, but doesn't get near it. Barco, Valbuena. Where's he going? 
into gone lands Kalesi doesn't do much with it but it's gone at uh, is that Quiz Quizamath? Is that the Quizamath from old FMs who was a wonder kid? Probably is. He's a, he was a right winger back then. He's still a right winger now. He's set up Salvador Ar Agra. Yeah, it's Ricardo Quizma. Quality player. <laughs> I'll give him that. Uh, if we can not concede stupid amounts of goals now would be nice. Literally one after another really would piss me off. Yeah, what's happened? Yeah, what's happened in the last minute? Other than us changing a couple of things up. If they dare come back into this, Tonelli heads out. Um, into Gorglands. Why is he up there? Classic into Valbuena. Can he pull this across the middle of the box? No, we get a penalty. And why has he been drawn out of position? Right. Um, while this is going on, the double winner steps up. Let's take that off because he's causing issues. Valbuena, Valbuena, Valbuena. Can he get... I thought he was going to say he missed that then. He steps up. Slots at home. We're back to our lead of 4-3. Whew. Yeah, we'll just skip that. We don't need to see the goals there. But that's not quite what we needed. It's got a lot more goals in this game than we um, were expecting there to be. As long as they've gone and off, maybe that's all that really matters. As time's ticking by, it's probably going to be the last real thing of the game as it's gone over the allotted time. Come on, blow the final whistle, ref. Cool, finally. And we win 4-3. Not quite the way we wanted to play that game, but a win's a win. It's all that really matters. And we 4-3 win. Barker makes a debut. Albuena's happy. Lafont bid rejected. Let's just up that to like that and see. We've got a draw for the best place player. Are we in that? Or do we go straight through the next round? I don't know. Let's jump to that and let's have a look. Because I don't actually know. I'm confused about what's going on in terms of... I reject it. Okay, right. They're not willing to sell for what I'm willing to pay. So, that's fine. He's trying to sign someone. Right. We've not been seeded. So, we've got to go through this. Right. This is going to be a tough lot. The draw team. Porto. That's going to be tough. When do we play them? Uh, that one. Best place playoff. We play them then. What happens if you... Lose? Uh, rules? Um... Same nation kind of a met. Um, away goal rule is used, that's fine. What uh, teams? No. Um, what winner qualifies for the group stage? So if we don't win, we don't get into the Champions League group stage, right? Okay, that makes that game a bit important, doesn't it? <laughs> Five to six weeks for Fabuena. And yeah, we're losing players left right and centre here. So next episode we're going to do Marseille and Lille. Then we're going to come back and do Porto. Might do all three to be honest. Might do Porto, Troyes and Porto. Because that would be a good little run. And then the group stages will start in here somewhere. If we get into it. Alright. So guys, if you have enjoyed, smash the like button. Smash the subscribe button. I'll see you next episode for... Leo than Marseille. So thanks for watching. I'll catch you later.